CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Jody, can you ask for another big effort from Elise in this match? Oh, I think it's um, a team effort required from not just Elise but also um, Sarah. You know, she's proved in England that she can score 100 and, you know, it's a perfect opportunity for her to do that tomorrow. Tough finish to the day, obviously. What is it about the last hour of play? All three days have been pretty similar with it. Each team that's been batting, losing. Yeah, it's, it's been an interesting test match, hasn't it? You know, ebbs and flows and momentum changes, but that's test cricket. Um, unfortunately, we wouldn't like to be sitting here with, you know, five gets down, but we've got to fight back tomorrow, and I'm sure we can do that. We would have been delighted to only have to be chasing 185, but as you said, that 130 that you need tomorrow now looks, looks a fair way away. Yeah, I was very happy with our performance with the bowling. Um, we spoke about being disciplined, um, you know, working at each of the batters and you know to restrict them to 183 was a good effort and you know to be five wickets down you know they did have some good bowling led by Kate Cross but um, as I said Elise and Sarah have got to come out here tomorrow and lead from the front for us. The, what they did in the first innings of course you were part of that um, can Sarah do the same thing you did? Um... Yeah, as I said, in England, you know, she top scored for us with 100 in the first innings and, and played really well, and that's the one thing that she does well. She concentrates for long periods of time, and we'll need to, for her to do that tomorrow. Is there a message to Elise Bellani to be really aggressive at the, at the top there? No, she just, you know, I think the balls were just in her zone, and she plays the pull shot well, and, you know, lucky for her, she played some really good shots, and that's the way she plays, sorry, right. very aggressive. Throughout the match so far, it looks like batting's been easier in the morning. Certainly, you hope that's the case tomorrow morning. Do you find that the longer the day goes on, I guess the pitch is out in the sun all day, it gets a, a little bit harder as the day goes on? Um, it's just interesting. I suppose in the morning there's less swing. That's what we've found when we've been fielding. Um, and towards the end of the day, there's a little bit more off the deck, um, a little bit through the air. It um, doesn't excuse getting out, but as I said, you know, looking forward to seeing what Elise and Sarah come out and do tomorrow. Just earlier on the bowling... Um just after lunch there, it took a long time for Elise to come back on. Was that because she was tired or just the way it was working out? Or? No, it was just the way it worked out. Elise was going really well. I was just resting her and um, trying to get wickets with our other bowlers who were doing a great job. So when she did come back, um, she got the five wickets and was well deserved. How is Elise tight? You know, she's obviously bent her back quite a bit throughout this test match and she spent a long time out in the middle uh, yesterday. How, how's, how's she going? Yeah, she's going well. She's a fitness freak. She's known as the gym girl on our team and, you know, I'm sure she'll come out tomorrow. You know, it doesn't even look like she's been sweating. So going well. She says she's pulled up really well and looking forward to batting tomorrow. Just on your distance, well, you batted well in the first innings and you were looking good out there again. It was a bit of a strange one. I don't think you were out of the crease, but you lifted your foot. And... Yeah, I was just disappointed. I felt really good. Um, I came out there with a positive attitude. Um, felt like the ball was coming onto the middle of the bat. And, um, you know, Sarah Taylor's a great keeper and unfortunately just lifted my foot a little bit.